So I literally was just sitting here talking to myself for probably like the last 10 minutes thinking that I was recording. What a load of crap is that? Big load of crap. Easy peasy, soil block squeezy. This is what I'm doing right now, making soil blocks. Voila, I feel like Vanna White. So literally what I've done is I've taken my seed start mix and I know I mentioned this before, one third steer compost, one third peat moss, one third perlite. This has probably got a little bit more peat, mo peat moss in it. And only reason why is because, well, I just needed more volume and I didn't want to open another bag of steer compost because it was just, you know, me being lazy. Anyways, I'm going to flip. Uh, I can't flip it around. So I'm going to flip. So then here it is. It's like you add water to this until it's uh, wet and like holds itself together. This is a soil blocker. I believe this is an Elliot, Elliot Coleman gizmo. Metal gizmo. It's got those little plastic plugs in there, which leave these fantastic little divots where you can just set seeds. It's pretty awesome. And so what you do is basically you get this stuff to a wet consistency where you can do that and it holds shape. And then you're going to use this little gizmo and you're going to push on this part here. This is like the stable sort of part. And this spring part here is what helps push the soil block out. So you push, you push, you push, and you can kind of scoop and push and see how that's full. And then I'm going to start another tray. Actually, let's leave that there. Let's grab this here. So I'm going to start another tray because the idea that I've said already, but I'm going to repeat it, is I'm going to try to seed my green beans and I'm going to try to seed my summer squash and my winter squash. Um, <laughs> like such an idiot having to repeat this, but you know, sometimes crap happens. Um, Block. Fall out. Um, so I've also decided that I'm going to seed probably a whole tray of green beans and then I'm going to seed, I'm not going to seed this year probably early, not that anybody cares, but I'm only going to end up growing, I think, yellow and green zucchini this year and screw the rest of summer squash because number one, I don't think that I know how to use them appropriately and I never use them all. So I'm not going to grow them, I'm not going to waste the space and the energy. And then I don't know which varietals of winter squash I'm going to grow, but there will be some of sorts. I need to grow pumpkins this year. Last year I didn't grow any, which was very sad. Very sad. Anyways, so back to the soil blocks. Oh. That is a huge, that happens. Son of a gun. My soil container's dying. It's very sad. Anyways, very wet. Very wet seed start mix into said tray and push. So you kind of push down on this and pull this at the same time. And there you have it. And do it again. Dang it, this is really, this just, no oh, horse crap. So see, pull right up next to it. And there you was that. I am probably not going to fill this whole tray of soil blocks. And the reason being is because I am not gonna grow that much squash this year. I mean, I'll grow some for me. I'll grow some for a friend of mine. Maybe a few extras to give away. Um, I guess you know, Austin, my son, his name is Austin, my little gardener helper. He does request corn every year, so maybe we'll grow more. Uh, we'll see. Let's see. Voila! The lovely little soil block babies. There you have it. Easy peasy, soil block squeezy.